Hello! So, going back a little while ago, I made a video called Motorcycle Tips and Hacks, and it got around half a million views, so uh, I decided to make a second one, and here's my new tips and hacks. So, as a motorcyclist, you probably spend a lot of time out in the sun, so it makes sense to carry a solar charger with you so you can make use of some of that sun. Then later on you can charge your phone and other devices. Next, if you don't like wearing motorcycle boots and you prefer to wear trainers or some other form of footwear, you can protect the top by putting a piece of duct tape over your shoe. If you enjoy a warm pasty or just a bit of warm food, simply wrap your food in tin foil, tuck it in the inner fairing, touching the exhaust pipe, and it will stay hot for as long as you're riding. Back to the duct tape again. If you're worried about scratching your paint when you stick on your panniers, simply put some more duct tape on and protect your paintwork. If you enjoy long distance motorcycle camping, then you're probably at some point going to need to wash your clothes. And a simple way to dry your clothes is by tying a piece of string between your tent and the motorbike and then hanging your clothes on there. Just don't put too much weight on because you don't want to damage your poles on your tent. If your bike doesn't have a centre stand and you need to prop up the rear wheel, simply grab a wrench, tuck it on the rear crash bung bolt and then prop it up. This will keep it off the ground so you can oil your chain and do whatever else you need to do. There are two clips located on the inside of most bikes and these are to clip your D-Link helmet on. But if you don't have a D-Link helmet, simply grab a bonding cable and thread it through. If you don't have a clip for that, you can always use a padlock. Last summer, on the last day of camping down in Somerset, it absolutely tipped it down with rain. And then when we loaded up our bikes, the wheel kept spinning because of the wet mud. So we all came together, put our bungee cords around the wheel, and we managed to slowly ride it off the field. In the UK, you no longer need to display your tax disc, so make use of your tax disc holder by putting in your parking ticket. If the car park says you have to pay, you have a holder for your ticket. So, hopefully you found some of these tips useful and that you can make use of some of them, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.